Many years ago, as a student in secondary school, I went to go and sew school uniform. And I entered somewhere in Egbeda, a little, you know, tailor shop. And this man had begun business as a tailor, you know, some time before that. And he looked at me and he said to me, David, I will make it. I will make it. I will make it. He was so sure I will make it. In this thing I'm doing, I will make it. I will make it. And he began to make that declaration from that time. Some years ago, I saw the same man celebrating 30 and 30th year in doing that business. And when he came in celebration of that 30th year, he came to church that day and I saw him with a lineup of luxury cars still doing the same thing he was doing. When blessing meets your work, your life cannot remain at the same level. I'd like you to understand that it doesn't matter what you are doing. It may not look like much now. But inside that work, there is worth. If you will put your hand to work and position under the covenant, you can begin to enjoy the blessing of God. I'd like us to understand, therefore, that I do this is one of the vital forces behind poverty. Refuse to be idle. Refuse to be idle. You find so many people that are confessing prosperity and doing nothing. God will not bless idleness. Listen to this very carefully. A field that a farmer will not work, no matter how much rain falls, will never produce fruit. Wherever labor is located, wherever labor is absent, blessings cannot reflect. Wherever labor is absent, blessings cannot reflect. When I was in the university, God's servant told me a story, and he shared it also in the first and second service. He said, his father, some time ago, he told his father, sell your properties. You don't need to be going collecting rent. Sell your properties. And the father asked him, what is it that I'll be using to pay my tithe? And he said, from the money that we, your children, are giving to you, he said, God knows who has the money. And when he's looking for who to bless, he will send it to the person who has the money. I want my own so that my blessing can also locate me. And we're having that conversation and I can't forget, I still remember the road I was driving him that day and he was in the vehicle when he was sharing that with me. I still remember the spot where he said it about the dignity of labor. That was my second year, the start of my second year in university. I started working from that second year of university. What job did I have? I was a janitor. I was the cleaner of the stadium that we use. After I finished janitor, I graduated to what you call inventory. I like the name, but I discovered after I started the job that the name is simply carrying load from one place to the other. It is just a refined way of saying Omolanke, that was the, that was the job. Now, after that, I went for the next one, my third year in university, and that one, they called it IT. And I thought this is going to be my best job since I entered into school. And I discovered that even though it was called IT, we're not doing IT, we're only pulling wires. So anywhere it is that they were doing some new construction or they were doing some renovation, we go there and we pull wires. The, what made it IT is that the wires we're pulling were IT wires. <laughs> but we are pulling those wires. But what was I doing then? Practicing the dignity of labor. So that when my tithe is paid, the blessing will locate the source from where the labor came. Is somebody getting what God is saying? To fold your hands is to fold your life. The Bible tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 18. Listen to this very closely. The Bible tells us there, it says, By much slothfulness, the building decayed. And through idleness of hands, the house dropped through. If you fold your hands, you fold your life. When you walk your hands, you are advancing your life. Is somebody getting what God is saying? 
let us get committed to working. Let's get committed to laboring. Let's get committed to engaging in labor, productive labor. You see, I'm looking for a job. If you have not found a job, make a job. Let's get committed to labor. So many great destinies were made out of taking advantage of whatever little skill they had when no one was looking for them. Shout hallelujah. May the Lord help understanding. All right. That was a very powerful video by Pastor David Oedipo Jr. You are welcome to the commentary section of this video where we make powerful analysis about what the preacher was saying. So, this video is all about being prudent in what you do and finding your hand to do something. Like, make sure whatever your hand finds to do legally, you do it because it is what you do with your hands that God honor. It is what you do with your hands that um, God um, blesses. If you are not willing to work, then be ready to be subject to poverty. So this is a very big mistake a lot of Christians make in the body of Christ. Um, a lot of them don't want to work and they spend all of their time in the house of God and they don't want to do something, they don't want to work. Sometimes they don't even find themselves in the house of God. Some of them are just idle, at home, doing nothing. So you can't expect manna to fall from heaven when you have a lot of options on ground. You can't expect that uh, God will come down from heaven and shower, shower food and rain of, um, of grain on the earth. So it's very important that as believers, we must understand the principles of financial prosperity. And one of those principles is work, hard work, putting labor in what your hand can, can do. Putting labor in what your hand can do. So it's very important that as believers, we take heed to these instructions in the video. I love you to take your time. Um, watch the video again. It is very explanatory. It is very explanatory and open. And your life will not remain the same in Jesus' name. Once again, happy 43 anniversary to the winner family worldwide. We appreciate the, uh, the God of the liberation mandate, and this is the Lord's doing as well as in our eyes. I'm sure you are blessed by this powerful video by Pastor David Odipo Jr. Please take your time, watch the video again. If you are blessed, please like the video, subscribe to YouTube channel so you can get more content like this, and also comment if you are blessed. You've been blessed and have a great time.